Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Vanessa Veronica. Today, as promised, I got this flapper 1920s look going on in the midst of October Halloween season. Um, I'm definitely getting into that Halloween spirit towards the last two weeks. At the beginning of October, I'm in like still denial that fall is here. So, if you're interested, stay tuned. I think this is a pretty like versatile, very accessible Halloween costume. You don't need a lot of things. Um, even if just wearing like a black dress and like doing your makeup, you look like a 1920s flapper. So let's get started. So starting off, let's go in with the face. So I'm gonna use the Luminous Silk by Giorgio Armani in the color 6.25. So I'm just putting that on my hand. And then I'm going to grab my fingers, just kind of like tap it. They, they kind of have really kind of flawless skin, at least in the pictures. How they achieved it, I don't know. <laughs> Grabbing my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I'm just gonna, whatever's left on my hand, I'm picking that up on the brush. Just like so, and then I'm just gonna blend the rest of the face in. Next, I'm going to take the Benefits Brow Pencil, and I'm just going to get these eyebrows out of the way because they are perhaps my least favorite. So I'm just going to, before they did have kind of very thin arched, and if you want to go for that, you can go do a kind of more of a dramatic arc. I'm going to go a little bit more with my natural line and maybe just a little darker, in which case I might have to use like a black shadow. So depending on your hair color, just go a little bit darker and it, it will automatically define those eyebrows. And they didn't really go for the bushy, fluffy look. Not that I have those type of eyebrows, but um, yeah, I'm just kind of filling these in. All right, following up with concealer, I'm gonna use the closest. This is also gonna act as my eye primer. So I'm just gonna put this on top first. Um, and then we can do the bottom afterwards so that we have that clean. Where did my sponge go? Let's grab a nice sponge. I'm just going to dab that. Perfect. Now with a blending brush, I'm gonna grab the color white and act as my base. I'm just gonna put that all over the eye area. All right, so this look, you can really take it anywhere you, you want to go. If you can't talk. This look, you can go anywhere you want to. You can get really creative. You can go very classic. You can go very kind of Halloween-esque and add a little more twisted flair of like a scary vibe to it. And you could also just go somewhere in between. So for me, I think I'm going to go somewhere kind of like classic look. Um, it's just more kind of wearable. And if you have a Halloween party, then it's perfect. So with that in mind, I do want to take a smaller blending brush. And I'm going to start with the color Wisteria. It's this kind of brownish purple color. Um, and I think it'll be a good kind of transition. And also keep in mind that in the 20s, they used to wear their makeup different. So I'm gonna go for that kind of look a little bit. Um, putting this on the corners. They did have more smoky looks. Okay. And I'm gonna go in with the color next. I'm gonna go in with brown. Actually, you know what, let's go in with maroon. It's this color right here. And then we'll go in with mulberry, which is this kind of reddish purple maroon color. So we're really just working on smoking out the eye. And they used to wear their eye makeup a little bit more rounded as opposed to like angled. We're going in with Mulberry, that red color that I told you about. I'm just going to put that in the corner. Using a pencil brush, it just gives me more precision. I'm going to take that color Mulberry again and just kind of start putting that on the bottom.
And I'm grabbing that shader brush, I'm just gonna blend some of that out a little. Let's go on, I'm gonna put a little bit of glitter on there, or gold. Um, let's see, let's use the color sand. It's like a gold color. With some shimmer, I'm gonna put that in the center. that same brush I'm just going to diffuse it grabbing a black liner this one's from makeup forever aqua eyes I'm just going to line the top all right I'm gonna use the L'Oreal slim liquid liner or pencil liner and they used to have really round eyes so I'm gonna just line a very thin line on the top water kind of like right above the lashes but I'm not going to wing it out I just want to create that roundness that shape So I'm just taking like a small brush, um, it looks like this, it's kind of like a, what is this one? This is like an accent brush, but I don't want to use an eyebrow brush. I'm taking the color brown and espresso, it's like a dark brown and a black. And I just kind of want to fill some of this in right here. Again, just because they had very prominent eyebrows, like very thin. And I just want to put some of that in here, if you can see. And you can also like extend it a little more to kind of accentuate that a little more. Sorry, I'm like blinding you. But I'm just taking this blush. You can use bronzer or high, um, contouring, I don't think. So I'm just going to put this on really like the center where they used to wear blush more often. With the same brush, I'm going to take my contour palette and I just want to add a little shape to my face, not so much contour. I'm going in with the color Medium Contour right here by my Lorac palette. And I just want to put some on the forehead. As well as the chin area down here. And I want to contour my nose. I don't think they did this back then, but using a clean shader brush, going in with that medium contour color again, I'm just going to slightly contour. As I promised, let's do highlighter. Um, I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Glow Highlighter. And I'm going to put that on the back of my hand. Again, very little. They didn't use highlighter. This is more just like adding modern makeup to look a little more bedazzled. Let's go ahead and finish the eyes. So I'm using Milk Kush, Cat. Milk Kush Mascara in black. What do I have next? I have the lips, but first let's set the face using my Huda Beauty setting powder. Um, we're just going to take some of this and set my way. Just gonna brush, I'm just gonna like dust off that excess. I didn't put concealer on this time around because I figured that, you know, they used to have very round eyes and sometimes, at least with me, if you do have really dark circles, by all means, go ahead, cover them up. Um, mine, I think, just kind of add that kind of, kind of like that circular, kind of hollow looking tone that they used to have. So that's kind of what I was aiming for there and so I didn't put any on. 
Um, moving on to the lips, I went in with Essence Soft Contouring in the color Sucker for Gray, and then I'm, I might mix it in with a maroon. Colors. Now I'm going in with the color maroon. This is Cabernet by Jordana. Instead of overlining, I am drawing a little bit more inside just because they did have more kind of like type of lips. So. I'm gonna mix brown and red because I don't want like a super red color, but I don't want a super brown color either. So I'm taking the color F Bomb by Urban Decay. Again, I'm mixing in a bunch of colors, but this is very red as you can tell. Again, grabbing my finger, I'm just gonna mix this in. And I'm going to layer on top of Marc Jacobs Mahogany. Yeah, that's better. And if you get a little messy on the outer corners of the lips because it is kind of such a bold color or bold colors that you're working with, just take a little concealer foundation on a sponge and kind of just Go ahead and clean it a little bit and you should be all set. Um, I think that's it. Am I missing something? I don't know. My hair. So let me go do my hair. I'll be back with the finished look. Okay, and I'm back. So I did my hair. I kind of just did like a side bun type of thing. Um, you could wear curls. You could do kind of, if you have short hair, then your hair is perfect. You probably just like straighten it. Um, you could also do just like waves, voluptuous waves, put a little feather or put like a little side piece. I think the only thing I'm really missing are maybe like pearls for, for my neck. Um, but aside from that, I'm happy to go dance the night away, dance the night away. Yeah, so I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you guys think. I'm pretty stoked about the way it came out. Like, I think it came out pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. What do you guys think? Let me know. What are you going to be for Halloween this year, if anything at all? Whether it's receiving little kids at the door, going to a Halloween party, safe, hopefully. But aside from that, I'll leave you guys. I'll see you guys soon. And happy Halloween. Happy November, October. It's not November. Happy October. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to stop now. Ciao.